120 American Idol review from uh, Orlando Auditions. We got my girl Kristen Chenoweth, who I want to marry and have lots of babies with on as a guest judge. I love her to death. Mwah. Um, okay, just going to go through the people that got the tickets that uh, we saw, you know, because remember, we don't see them all. Uh, Seth Rollins, not bad at all. Uh, he has a nice R&B voice. I don't know, um, you know, when he goes to the different styles of stuff, uh, how much he'll stick around. Jermaine Portnoy, uh, re-edition se from Season 7. He has a really good pure tenor voice. Um, if he can keep that, you know... In you know that nice line and phrasing and stuff, he's got a good chance to make it to the top forty. Um, depends on when he when he sings. You know, song choice is a huge thing when it comes to these things. Um, yeah, Shelby Dressel, eighteen year old, not too bad. I thought her um, her phrasing was horrible. Uh, it was she won't make it to the top forty? No way. Uh, Jay Stone, the beatbox guy. Um, I I didn't. I think he's full of himself. I don't really think that he's all that. Um, and if he sings, like, he can really sing, that's possible, but he's gonna, he's trying to be like Blake Lewis, you know, the sequel or something, I don't know, forget that. He's, he'll make, he'll probably make top 40, but, you know, I just hope that's it. And I don't want him even to make that, I'll just be saying, yeah, sorry dude, whatever. Um, Janelle Wheeler, not too great, uh, Britney Star James, she doesn't have staying potential, she's gonna get, uh, forgotten or lost. Cassie Bedford, uh, raspy little voice. Uh, I didn't really care for it. Um, Simon liked it, though. Uh, she's cute, though. I mean, her voice is oversung, which means that's from her singing too much. Way too much. Um, Cornelius Edwards. Oh, my God. This guy, he, he rips his pants. It's hilarious. There's no way he can make the top 40 because everybody's going to be like, dude, that's the guy that ripped his pants. You know, I just, I don't know. Um, or if it comes down to like, you know, a toss up, it's like, oh yeah, that's the dude that ripped his pants. Yeah. Does America want to see his junk? No. Uh, the Jersey girls, forget them. Uh, Jared Norrell, he, he, he didn't even make it, but he's, a, he was just, he got dragged his butt out by security. That was pretty cool. All right. Matt Lawrence, he's the guy that we got to talk about some. Um, when I first listened to him, I was like, well, he's pretty good, you know, but I don't see him. You know, I see him getting lost a little bit. But then I listen to it again, and it's like, you know what? This guy has definitely got something special. Um, he's definitely making the top 40. Uh, Kara says top 12. I don't know if he's going to get to the top 12 because, you know, Hollywood Week, if, you know, you have a bad, if they do the group round, you, you can just die right there. Um, I, But, you know, I, I, I think America could like him. I just don't know if uh, I got him to the top 12. I don't really have anybody to the top 12 yet, so I don't want to make him be the first because I could I could be very, very wrong with him. But he's got a huge upside. Anyway, uh, that's about it for now. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye. See you Tuesday. I'm scary.